Shabbat Shalom. A long time ago, and this exact week, the Israelites were getting very, very impatient. You may remember, because according to tradition, all of us were there. Weeks ago, we stood at the base of Mount Sinai amidst thunder and lightning and smoke and fire, and we heard God's voice speaking the Ten Commandments. It was terrifying. So we pleaded with Moses, go up the mountain and speak to God on our behalf. We'll stay down here and wait for you. And Moses did and ascended up the mountain. Days passed without a word. Weeks passed. At first, we were confused. What could possibly be taking so long? Then we started to become afraid. What if something has happened and Moses isn't coming back? What if we're going to be stuck down here at the base of the mountain forever? And then we started to grow angry. What if Moses has abandoned us? What if God has abandoned us? What if God no longer loves us? Who will guide us and protect us if not Moses, if not God? We were tired of waiting. So in our anger, we went to Aaron, Moses' brother. Aaron had always been the one to listen to us anyway and to speak with us. We said, we don't know what has happened to our leader and we need to take matters into our own hands. Make us a God who will guide us and protect us here in this wilderness. Make a God who will listen to us and do what we ask. And Aaron told us to go get any gold we had, and we did. And from our families, we also took gold, any gold we could, and also from our neighbors. We took their gold, and we didn't care if they wanted to give it to us or not. We took their gold anyway. And Aaron shaped the gold into a golden calf. And we all cried out, this is the God who will guide us and protect us and listen to us and do what we want. And we threw a giant feast, the wildest, biggest, noisiest party that anyone had ever seen. And we got so loud that we could be heard all the way at the top of Mount Sinai where Moses was still listening to God. Moses came running down the mountain right to the midst of our dancing and our feasting and cried out, what have you done? And we said to Moses, we have been waiting so long, so long, that we stopped believing that the waiting would ever end. And we stopped even believing that God loves us. And Moses said, all of these weeks that I have been away, God has been giving me instructions to build a sanctuary, detailed instructions. And there were a lot of details, weeks and weeks of details. I had to do a lot of listening, and it took a lot of time. And we said, we have a golden calf who will guide us and take us through the wilderness and protect us and listen to us and do whatever we ask of it. Moses just sighed and said sadly, your golden calf is a false idol. It has no power to guide you and protect you in the wilderness because God doesn't do whatever we ask whenever we want it. We can't tell God what to do. We listen for what God wants us to do. So listen now to what God wants. Together, we will build God's sanctuary right in the center of our community. We will build it with gifts of the heart, freely offered by each one of us. And when we have built this sanctuary together, 
God will come and be with us. And wherever we go in our wanderings, we will take this sanctuary and God's love will always be with us. And we all did, as Moses said, and to this very day, we've built sanctuaries where we come together to listen for God's voice. And when we let God into our homes, our homes too become God's sanctuary. And when we leave our homes, when we strive to listen and do what God wants in our wanderings, then wherever we go, God is always with us. From the days of the Bible to this day, right now, on the doorposts of many Jewish households, right at the boundary between at home and away, you'll find a small amulet called a mezuzah. Inside, written on parchment in tiny and beautiful letters, are prayers. For centuries, Jews have turned God's words, God's words of love, into works of art. And in religious school this winter, our students created their own works of art, incorporating the words traditionally found inside the mezuzah. Like a mezuzah, these artworks remind us as we enter and exit our homes to slow down, to be patient, and to listen to God's voice. They remind us to let God into the spaces we make our own and everywhere we travel in our journeys. Because when we do, Emmanuel, God is with us. We share now some of these artworks with you as Cantor Glasman sings our anthem, In This House. This house beats the heart of a family. In this house is the center of a community. We study and we pray, find meaning in each day. In this house, in this house, in this house. In this house is a spark of God's creation. In this house there is joy and celebration By song or by word Your prayers will be heard In this house, in this house, in this house In this house, in this house It all comes together in this house Sing with us! In this house we can shelter, we can clothe and feed. In this house there is always help for those in need. A stranger makes a friend, become inspired again. In this house, in this house, in this house. Here we go! In this house, in this house, it all comes together in this house. of prayer, in this house. a house of gathering, in this house. from everywhere, in this house. 
How lovely is your dwelling place, O Jacob. Blessings upon blessings built these walls. In this house, in 